So hello folks, this is Garth at GW Leathercraft and this is going to be a short video but I was putting some uh, suede on some back of some belts and I thought of this question that I get asked some and basically the question is should I line my holster with suede or um, grain leather. Now, when, when you order a holster from me, normally it comes with uh, uh, the grain side of the leather out, grain side of the leather in. And so I line it to get that uh, with uh, veg tan. Usually I use four to five ounce. Um, the, the option is there to do it with suede. Um, and you know, very few people end up take, uh, using the suede, um, but um, it's always a question in a lot of people's minds. And some people, even I've had people who assumed that when you say line, they mean you mean with suede. So it's some it's an issue for some people. So I wanted to uh, to address it. Now, I have my own opinions, but. Uh, here's a couple things. Now, when I, when I make a line belt, I line it with suede. The reason why I line it with suede is so that when you put it around your waist and it's a, a little low and there's a, a lot of stuff hanging off it and it's heavy, so it won't slip. The suede is grippy. Okay? And if you had a belt with the grain side in, you would know how grippy the suede is in comparison. Um, so, so that is the one thing. If you're if you're talking about a holster and you want to draw the gun faster or at least a little bit fast, uh, suede is not going to do it for you. The grain the grain side of the leather is going to be a lot smoother, a lot easier. To draw the gun. The other th question is, what about the finish on my gun? And I've had people who had stainless steel guns question this uh, bit of logic, but really a stainless gun, you're not going to do anything to the finish anyway. The question is only if you have a blued gun or a case hardened gun. And they're the only people that have any real quibble and, you know, any reason to quibble over the answer at all. And the, the, if, if you don't care how fast you draw it, if that's not an issue and you just want to protect it, well then, you know, it's, it's, I guess it's a matter of preference. I think most people want to draw it a little bit smoother, a little bit quicker, so they're going to go with the, with the top grain leather. But if you're still on the fence, here's something to consider. Uh, do you ever get uh, in a dusty environment when you're wearing your holster? Even just a, a, you know, a hot summer day in a, in, a, in a dirt parking lot or something? Is there dust? Because, as you can see, <laughs> I didn't pour dirt on this, but the dirt on the suede, it picks everything up. Now that brushed off pretty good, but if you get dust in there, it's going to stick and it's going to be inside your holster and talk about something to wear the finish off a, off a gun but gravel dirt or sand or, or silt or anything like that impregnated in your in your suede that's going to do a number on your finish whereas if you had if you had used the top grain um, leather it's it's smooth Worst comes to worst, you have to wipe it out. But chances are nothing is going to stick to it anyway. So that's my opinion. And you can take it for what you want. But um, when I make a holster, it comes with the top grain leather for the inside. Um, and, you know, if you want to make a special order, I, I'll put suede in it for you. Uh, from there, uh, the consequences uh, are your own. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.